Hey everyone, it's Jasmine and today I'm going to show you my low waist curly hair routine which I'm really surprised that I haven't shown you guys sooner but I guess I have always been hesitant just because I feel like it's very simple and a majority of the products that I do use are only found locally. This is one of the most like requested like routines that I've been asked and I guess it makes sense, hence the name, that curly top. Yeah, I'm just going to show you guys today what I do. And just to let you know, like everyone's hair texture is completely different. What works for mine might not work for yours, but I hope showing you my routine might help you on your curly hair journey. So I'm going to now rewind to this morning and show you how I ended up with this. Hey again, so this is what I look like when I first wake up and this is what it looks like with my hair down. I like to sleep with my hair up in a bun because normally it helps protect my curls. So I'll debating about maybe getting a bonnet one day, but for now, this is what I do. Today is going to be a wash day, and even though you can still see the definition in some of the curls, it is a wash day because it has been two or three days since I have washed my hair with shampoo. So I'm going to do that today, um, but before I do that, I'm going to throw it back up into a bun and go work out. So I do this thing where I like to do a sweaty workout on the days that I'm gonna deep clean my hair just because I might as well clean off the fresh sweat that I just got and not have that sit in my hair for more days than it should. And normally when I clean my hair, I just make sure that the products that I'm using for my hair are all natural. For now, I'm using the Public Goods shampoo and conditioner, which has been great on my hair. But I think next time I'm gonna go to my local refill shop and get my shampoo and conditioner from there. It's worked for me in the past. I am on the hunt for a zero waste curly hair brand. I just haven't found one yet. So I would like to find one that's preferably black owned. So if any of you guys know of one, I would love to hear about it. And post shower, I will wrap my hair in a towel. I'm not picky about what I wrap my hair in. I just normally use a towel that I have on hand. And here is my hair care lineup. I have my natural styling gel and leave-in conditioner that I get from Earthwell Refill. And I also have my hair oil and comb that I got from Crown Affair. So first I'll use my leave-in conditioner and put that throughout my hair. It is incredibly hydrating, but it also makes combing my hair a lot easier. And I make sure to start at the tips of my hair and work my way up so I have the least amount of breakage. And also I prefer to use a comb over a hairbrush because using a hairbrush really made my hair more frizzy and I had more split ends when I was using it so I prefer not to do that anymore. And then after detangling my hair, I will use the Crown Affair hair oil and girl, this smells amazing, but it also makes my hair really shiny and healthy. So I'll make sure to put that throughout my hair. I like to focus on the tips of my hair because I haven't really gotten a haircut in a really long time because hashtag Corona. And afterwards is the fun part where I use my styling gel and I will make sure to scrunch up my hair and I make sure to get the ends, but I also try to get the roots of my hair as well because <laughs> If I don't, then the top part will be flat. And I also make sure to moisturize my baby hairs because those will also get very frizzy if I don't give them some love and attention with some styling gel. And after I apply the styling gel throughout my hair, I let it air dry for about two hours until I see the final results. So let's hope for the best. And this is the final result after two hours. And when it looks a little fly, I actually like to do this trick where I kind of headbang my hair. Um, <laughs> and I know I look really ridiculous, but it helps my hair get a ton of volume in it. So I am not ashamed. I will headbang as much as I need to. And also my hair kind of chooses its part that it likes for the day. So I kind of play back and forth until I see which way looks better and that's it. That's my routine. I hope you all enjoy this and that it helps you on your low waist curly hair journey. Okay, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.